I'm at the Abbott booth. They are the makers of Freestyle Libre 2 and 3, and they've teamed up with Weight Watchers on an all new app. Let's go ask about it. I'm at the Abbott booth with Dr. Mahmoud Kazimi to talk about the new Weight Watchers app. They've, Weight Watchers has partnered with Abbott on a new app. Now, tell me, why did you two collaborate on this? Yeah, Justin, it's uh, actually, we're really amazed to and happy to be able to offer this uh, to people living with diabetes. The reason we partnered with Weight Watchers is they're actually the world's leaders in behavioral management when it comes to weight loss. And this is really one of the most common requests from people living with diabetes is how can I use this information from CGM, from various other sources, to be able to make the right choices when it comes to diet, to activity, how do I know that I'm actually making those right choices? What kind of guidance can you offer me? And by integrating with the WW app, the Weight Watchers app, our uh, Freestyle Libre family of products can now help deliver the glucose data that is essential for making those treatment decisions. And yep, I think it was a logical partnership between the world leaders in CGM as well as in weight loss. Yeah, well, I, I've never used this app. Maybe some of my viewers haven't. Tell us a little bit about what the Weight Watchers app, the information you get on there, and kind of the information that we'll see from the Freestyle as well. Sure, so when it comes to the Freestyle Libre system, essentially the glucose data that is being captured by the sensor will sync with the Weight Watchers app. And then the Weight Watchers app, I believe folks can see a little bit here on the screen. So essentially the glucose values have come in from the Freestyle Libre system, and the individual here has uh, essentially also entered in what they've been consuming, let's say for breakfast or lunch. And really what the app does is it helps incorporate and track all of this and provide uh, pattern recognition to individuals. So if, for example, I am consistently finding that my glucose levels are high after breakfast, the app will actually help maybe pinpoint what exactly is happening there. So are there certain days that I'm eating certain items that seem to have this particular impact on me? And are there other days where I might make a different choice that doesn't seem to have so many highs after breakfast? So it really helps me understand what my choices are doing in terms of impacting my glucose levels. And that's what that integration is. Okay, and so what subtype of people with diabetes would you say would benefit from something like this? I think actually Actually, anyone living with diabetes could really benefit from this type of an experience because, remember, at the end of the day, we all make food choices and we all make activity choices. It doesn't matter what type of diabetes we're living with. So really, for the end of the day, that I think anyone living with diabetes can benefit from this information, and that's why we're pleased to offer it to people living with diabetes without any kind of restriction from that perspective. The other really important metric that you'll see down here is the time and range, which is obviously something that has been increasingly used in diabetes management. I think we're all familiar, for example, with glucose levels, with hemoglobin A1Cs. One other you know, metric that really helps define how well the management is going is how, per, what percentage of time the individual with diabetes is actually spending in range, whatever we define as that in range. And this is can, another aspect of the app that can help track that for us. Okay, so I saw before during the presentation, they were tapping their Libre 2 with their phone. Yeah. So, is it just the Libre 2? Are we also going to see the Libre 3 support for this as well? Yeah. Right now, okay. we are basically available for integration with the Libre 14-day system and the Libre 2. Our hopes are, obviously, as we continue to uh, bring more and more people onto Libre 3, that we can offer an integrated experience for all of our users. Okay. And now, what about the interoperability with, let's say, pumps or smart pens? I have some apps where I like that I can put, you know, I ate some food and I also gave myself insulin and be able to track that. I love that this has the food and, and my blood sugar, but is there that ability to say, I just gave myself a unit of insulin and I can kind of see, I ate that, I gave that insulin, this is what happened, yep. and learn from that. Yeah, I completely understand. I mean, especially as an endocrinologist, I love that aspect as the healthcare provider side. I know the user loves that, but I also love it when my patients come to clinic, I would love to be able to see where that's going. Right now, uh, we are, as you are well aware, uh, working on integrating our sensors with pump systems and other automated insulin delivery systems. So right now we don't yet have that integration, but as soon as those solutions come up, I'm hopeful that we will also be able to integrate them into this app experience. Yeah. Now the burning question, when is this available and how can people get it? Is it out already? It has actually now launched uh, right. within the US. So yes, it is already available at this point in terms of it uh, being available for individuals who are planning on using the integrated experience. That's why we're so pleased to announce it here. Okay, and so Weight Watchers users can kind of, like is it tied to their account? It's, um, yeah, it's, so basically they have to sign up to be able to use it. Okay. That's correct, yeah. So it's not something that is automatically there, but they do have to register to be able to get on. To okay, be great. Able to use that. 
Great, thank you Perfect. so much. My pleasure, nice to meet you. You too. For more information on the Weight Watchers app, I've got a link in the description. Plus, I am at ADA all weekend reporting on it, so make sure you keep it here by subscribing and giving this video a like. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.